This is how you use Cockpit to control the system resources assigned to containers. Docker containers share resources with each other and with the host operating system. It's often the case that you want to limit how much memory a container can use or prioritize its share of CPU. Here you can see in real time how much memory this container is using. Let's run this container. As you can tell by the name, the container is somewhat troublesome and uses an extreme amount of resources, so let's give it a memory limit. The Docker container won't be able to use more memory than what we have chosen here. You can see the container we have run here. The gray area of the graph represents where its memory limit is. As you can see, it's rapidly using its available memory. The kernel will try to keep the container within its limits by allowing it to swap a bit, but will kill it long before the system is affected in any way. Here's another image that tries to monopolize the system CPU. If we don't specify the CPU priority, we can see that it monopolizes the system. So let's stop this container. And this time, we'll do it right. Now we'll choose to prioritize the CPU. You can see that our new container with the lower CPU priority is more effectively sharing the resources of the host system.